Okay guys, how is it going? Welcome to day three of the Subby Subby Subberthon. Let's freaking go. The timer is at 45 minutes. The timer is at 45 hours at the beginning of day three. And we still have a potential five full days left, maybe a sixth bonus day, depending on where my energy levels are at. <laughs> and today we're just gonna start off the stream by reading from the Holy Bible. So everyone, put your hands together as we read some scripture. I'm going to read from Forest Temple, chapter 2, verse 3, where it says, where the scripture says, When the Stalfoses you encounter at point 2 attack, stun them with your hookshot, and then use a jumping attack to defeat them and get a small key. Block the Stalfos with your shield and focus on one at a time. The jars in the chamber hold fairies. Return to collect the fairies as many times as you want. Exit the room and return to the main chamber. Play the Song of Time by the door with the block in front of it to make the block disappear. All praise, all praise. But yeah, uh, progress is looking pretty good. Here is the progress after yesterday. Here's hour 13 and then after hour 15, we got almost all the way to completion for Super Mario 64 randomizer. So that's the first one we might complete. It's kind of hard to tell. And that really helped the overall toucan ranking. Are you guys ready for us to spin the wheel for the first time today? Should we just freaking get into it? Like, yeah. All right. I return to you with this live broadcast of the randomizer randomizer wheel. We are about to spin it for the very first time on day three. What game is it gonna land on? I also hope it's not Majora's Mask again. Oh, spin again. It was like this close to Ocarina of Time. So close. Here we go. <laughs> skirt, skirt, skirt. Nice. I think the chat's going to be much happier about that. Zooter, baby, finally got landed on. <laughs> it's what the kids have been waiting for. All right. You guys ready for the sweet nostalgia? Then of course, we're gonna use Countdown's Tracker. Really excited to actually utilize this today. All right. We have Zooter. I'm really curious what Epona's randomized effect is. <laughs> Did Epona just weep at us? Is that what happened? That was pretty great. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It was so short. Normally it's like a full long nay, but no, she just gave us a single mweep. And maybe that's all we deserve. It's all we've earned the right to. Just to get chat moving, can I get a squaw to start things off right? Let me use my phone. We gotta get a random name generated, of course. Okay, I'm gonna generate a random name for our file and we get Calvin, I think it's good. Calvin, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna be named after Calvin Klein today. You can't play Zeter yet. We all need to praise the Quad Sun first. True, true. All right, everybody. Everybody Quad Sun emotes. We all praise the Quad Sun. Thank you, Quad Sun, for this glorious day. Thank you for bringing the two clan together. Thank you for allowing us to have all of these amazing emulators. You projected that we would have these emulators five years ago when we first discovered you when playing Zelda's birthday. So thank you, Quad Sun, for all of your all of your favor. We're very grateful for the love that you shine down upon all of us and for helping us all grow by giving us plants and life and the beautiful world and all the sights to help keep us inspired towards life in general. Please give us good randomizer luck. Give us some good items. No bloopies, please no bloopies and no ice traps. Help us secure a really good date with Malin. I could use some good titties. And in Quad Sun's name, Amen, Amen. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's go! Bam. Okay, we have our boy Link, looking like a grape, and he's ready to go on an adventure. Within the actual fuck, Gabriel. Thank you for the gifts up. I appreciate you. My controller has yet it's making me angry yet again. If I hold like straight forward, look at what it does. Why does it do this? 
Blue hearts look cool. <laughs> it's making me zigzag if I press up and down straight up. This is a new one. I've actually... It's kind of weird how it keeps on just throwing weird ass like controller issues my way. Like this is definitely a new one. Day three and we have quicksand. <laughs> This does a, this is a good looking tunic though. Yeah, I'm liking the colors of the whole entire UI. It looks real good. Dungeon map for the forest temple. I know where I'm not getting lost. Piece of heart. We're gonna get any items to begin with. Another piece of heart. Blue piece. And a gold skull to the token. So yes, we have all of the sanities on for this randomizer. We have skull sanity turned on. We have key sanity turned on. We have song sanity. Cow sanity, scrub sanity, shop sanity. A little bit of everything. Cow yeah, everything. Literally everything. Um, except for master quests. I've been playing Zooter for a long time. And just like... I've never had these issues before until this live stream. I think it's working again though. I think we're good. Actually, first I'm gonna go to the shop. Maybe there's just something with Bizhawk, but it's like, it, for some reason, sometimes the emulator changes my controller settings as I'm playing the game. So it'll, it'll work for like an hour and then it'll just suddenly like change up on me. Last time you said no Master Quest, and you did a whole co-op with Master Quest. I'm pretty sure I did not turn Master Quest on this time. At least I really, really hope I didn't. Oh, what is this? Magic meter? 195 rupees. Oh, Pisu of heart. Do you guys want a Pisu of heart? Only one left. Get it while you can. Yo, Tetra Bell, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, sub, sub. Okay, everything's too expensive here. The water temple map is 210 rupees. You're telling me I have to find the giant's wallet to get the map for water temple? The temple that you might want to map in potentially the most? A piece to of Bizu. Hmm. <laughs> I like some pizu with my pizu. Do we have the ocarina to start with? I might have to go over the bridge. It's been a while since I've played an ocarina of time randomizer. I think it's been like five or six months. So feels pretty nice to feel one again. Oh, I guess I played a randomizer during TRG Coliseum a few months ago for a few hours. And I had entrance randomizer turned on and it was very difficult to deal with. Indiana Jones ain't got shit on me. Nut! Go! Okay, let's mark the nuts and the sticks. The necessities. Oh! Wow. Very not cool. He just like snuck up on me. He was waiting at the corner and progressed right as I was coming through. So we cannot go to the Great Deku Tree right now because I have the setting Closed Deku turned on, which makes it like the base game. We need the Kokiri Sword and Deku Shield to go there. I like that setting a lot because it makes it a lot more similar to the base game. Is there a Devil May Cry randomizer? I've never played Devil May Cry, so I don't even know like what it would have, but there's like a whole website of like every randomizer possible. If you just Google randomizers, like I think the first option is a list of every randomizer you can download. And the list is long. And just use control F and look for whatever game you're looking for. All right, we got our ocarina. Where's the ocarina on the tracker though? Oh, it's down here by the songs. Okay, I see. I haven't used this version of the tracker yet. Let me show like one cool feature it has though. Like the newest feature that was added to it. So this tracker has a built-in map tracker, and if I go to the overworld checklist, I could click on Kokiri Forest, and here's all the chests. So here's the Mido checks, we can turn those off. Um, we got the chest here, and 
There's only one thing to buy in the shop, so we can mark that off. And that's everything we've done so far. You can also mark it to adult mode, so you can- Oh no, the Great Deku Tree dies in the adult picture! That's so sad! I'm absolutely devastated now. <laughs> Crying myself to sleep, excuse me. But they also have it for the dungeons, too. And you can see, like, every floor. So this is gonna be a really nice tool for me to keep track of all 100 Skull Dealer tokens. I'm really, really excited for it. And this tracker just looks good, too. That's the other nice thing about it. This tracker is absolutely goaded. It's made by Countdown, the dude we had on the stream yesterday for the interview. He was showing me all of the features and everything. He told me a lot of new stuff about the tracker I still hadn't even learned yet. So, I'm pretty excited about it. You're playing a Mario Kart randomizer or Mortal Kombat randomizer, and it's stressful. MK has multiple meanings in the video game industry. Yo, Squillium Fancy Sin is in chat. <laughs> Mario Combat. <laughs> That's just Smash Bros. Got him. Put your hands up. That's right. Mystery item for 61 rupees. Oh yeah, so the, the Deku Scrubs, I randomized the prices of their stuff. So it's not only 10 rupees this time. So we're gonna need to collect a lot more rupees. 61 rupees for this item. That's crazy. That's crazy. The hearts match the bloopies. <sighs> it's the name of the game, baby. It's what I signed up for. Okay, it looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be happening tomorrow, possibly. So on the schedule, later today, we'll probably be playing some Jackbox with the, new twist ex with the new Twitch extension that allows the audience to participate with an extension or a widget that appears on the Twitch stream. And then tomorrow we're gonna do some like a DJ set. I'm gonna do a dancing Instagram reel with my friend Ken, and we're gonna play some Yu-Gi-Oh! training card game in person with Oh no, he's doing it again. Oh. Holy crap. Hey Tyler, I've been loving the Subathon and I'm really happy to see you streaming again. <laughs> Subathon. Have another 69 minutes of Rondo goodness greater than 3. <laughs> Subathon. <laughs> That's what we're calling it from now on. We're doing the Subathon. Every single rando has started with its own issues at the beginning. And the, the interesting thing is, they've all been very unique issues that I've never had to deal with, even though I've been playing randos for years online. <laughs> Unique Tyler Tech issues, but hey, that's how you become a better streamer, right? You just do it. You can only, like, that's like one thing about life is you can only foresee so many of the obstacles life is gonna throw at you in the future, but you can't let them like prevent you from doing stuff. You have to just push through and then just deal with the obstacles as they come your way. The important question, though, is that one Deku, that one Deku scrub, that gave me a bloopy for 61 rupees. Should I go back to him and do the same transaction so my progress is consistent, or do I want to like learn from the reset? Okay, I'll go for consistency. <laughs> Learnings for nerds. True. Yeah, and I don't want to be a nerd, obviously. Pfft. So yeah, let's go spend 61 rupees on a bloopy. I mean, it's on the tracker, right? I marked it, so it's there. There's no running away from it now. Bloopy, bloopy, bloopy. I almost like wish I could add more songs to my Zelda mixtape. Because I really want to make a song about bloopies. I think having a song called Bloopy would be awesome. But maybe if the Hylian mixtape, or the Hylian Bangers for Hoes mixtape, if it does well, maybe I'll make a Highly and Bangers for Hose Volume 2. And that's where we can have the bloopy song. Time to make some ramen. What's your favorite type of ramen flavor? I think the 
Link would just have to be like, I want to hang with my groupies. <laughs> I want to make all the bloopies. <laughs> I want to spin on my, I want to shake and spin my hips like I have hula hoopies. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't like perp, don't like poopies. I just want to eat some good soupies. I like going to the pool and seeing a girl in a two-piece. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> let's, play, let's play that again. These note colors look really cool. I like the foam green. Very aesthetically pleasing. I want to paint my bathroom that color. Except no, I don't. That would actually look pretty bad. It's not spelled like that, X-Tone. It's P-U-P-P-E-E-S. Or no, P-U-P-E-E-S? How do you spell poopies? Damn it. Okay, I can't talk to chat when I'm playing this game. <laughs> I have a goldfish brain. There's too much to remember and look at. Okay, this one's a lot easier to remember. I was expecting it to be down again. Just doo -doo 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 -doo. Big brain. It's only five notes, it's actually so easy. <laughs> Navi wanted to say hi to the fairy in the bottle. Oh, we actually got a bottle. Very nice. I can even mark the fairy in the bottle on the tracker. Isn't that cool? So you guys can know what's in my bottle. Even. If I don't have any quits. HGSI40, thank you for the sub. I appreciate your support out here. Oh, damn, wait. Oh, never mind. Toku, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I appreciate that. Here's a real bloopy. Thank you for the real real. We love the real real. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so there's some there's some scrubs back here. Hopefully their stuff isn't as expensive. We're about to find out. 26 rupees, okay, can't afford. Another bloopy! These scrubs <laughs> I'm gonna burn them all to the ground. They're over. How much is his? Maybe I can't afford. 47 rupees. Nope. Can't afford. Don't even want to fall for it, honestly. Do HGSI. Thank you. Are you related to WD40? Is HGSI40 like a cousin? Are you like the anti lubricant? <laughs> Thank you for the gift subs. Hey, Ray Ray. My boy Ray Ray got a gift sub. Okay. Shout outs to Ray Ray. Do I want to kill this wolfos right now? Yes. But do I want to go back to where Saria is right now? No, because... She won't give me anything. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I think we're going back out to Hyrule Fields. Nothing more in the woods for us to do. Let's go to Castletown. You do need Zelda's letter. Which, I don't believe we have that. I don't think I started with that. Oh, we're starting with the Kokiri Emeralds. That is what the game gave us to start off with. The very first one. I don't even know if that unlocks or activates anything, but whatevs. Will Pikmin be randomized too? Can it even be randomized? One, I've done a Pikmin randomizer let's play on my YouTube channel. And two, Yes, it is randomized. It just randomizes the enemies. It's not the craziest randomizer, but it's a fun and like kind of unique way to play Pikmin. What are the hint settings? Honestly, I don't know. I never play Zooter with hints. But let me read some Gossip Stones and maybe we'll actually use some of the hints this time. 
Let's see if I'm big brain enough to even decipher the hints. Quick answer, probably not. <laughs> get some of that free bridge money. It's a good start. Uh, let's go for one more since the shop sanity is on. We're gonna have to check the bazaar and the general store. Chain gang. Chain gang. That's it. So Thursday I'm playing Pot Sanity, and then Pot Sanity, every single one of these pots and all the crates in the game are added into the randomizer. It like triples the amount of checks there are in the randomizer. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. And that's what's gonna be in Zooter 5. So pretty much on Thursday, we're gonna be practicing for Zooter 5 is what I'm trying to say. All right, Skulltula, what you got? Another piece of heart. This is a really slow start to a Zooter. We haven't found a single item yet. We found a bottle. That's, that's a, I guess, a somewhat decent start. Is there a grass sanity? I don't think there is yet, but there is beehive sanity as well. And beehive sanity adds all, all 32 beehives in Ocarina of Time into it. They just keep on raising the sanities. The goal is to make everyone insane. Can't afford that. I don't want keys. Okay, nothing really in here. There are beehives in OOT? Yep, in every single grotto. There's two in every grotto. And in some other locations as well. Okay, I can't buy bombs, can I? Um... Why did it give me a blue bee? <laughs> I do love the Deep Woods music from the Ocarina of Time ROM hack. That was good. Malin up here? Yeah, those things that are like on the ceiling that you knock down. I just don't think there's beehives in them in this game. They added the beehives on Majora's Mask. Oh, she gave us the weird egg, actually. So I, do I just gotta go do it naturally? I'm pretty sure I shuffled the weird egg. I'm like almost positive I did. So that's interesting. They say the Ocarina of Time teaches a bomb bag. Oh no! Does that mean I have to get all three spiritual stones to get the bomb bag? Oh damn. That's a little bit brutal. Okay. Well I guess there's also the upgrades. There's three bomb bags in the seed. So one of them is where the Ocarina of Time is. So we're gonna get, one of them is like pretty locked away. So hopefully one of the other instances of the bomb bag is more easily accessible. The three day build up to this game was great. I kind of agree. I'm glad we didn't start with Zooter. I feel like it's a little bit nicer playing it right now. They say that plundering the water temple is a foolish choice. Does that mean, like, don't go in the water temple at all? I've never, like, really read the hints before, so I'm not sure what exactly they mean. Does that mean there's, like, couldn't there still be, like, keys in the water temple that I need for somewhere else? Oh, it means Morpha's prize is gross. Is that just talking about, like, the final prize from beating the boss? Okay, well, let's wait for morning so our egg will hatch. Ah, fool. I feel like we're gonna learn a lot about Zooter today. 
I haven't done Skull Sanity in so freaking long. So it's going to be interesting refreshing my brain at all the Skull to the Tokens. But it should be a good time. Can we put... I'm going to like kind of count the restart. I would say we've been playing Ocarina of Time for 15 minutes. So I'm going to have to re-randomize in 30 more minutes because we have reached one wheel spin. So enjoy Ocarina of Time for the next 30 minutes while you can. And I'll, I'll try to do the same. Because we already got so many gift subs. Whoa, that was kind of cool. That it takes the cutscene away, you just watch him run away. That was awesome. How have we reached a wheel spin already? Because we started the stream at 510 subs, and then we got to 574 already. So that's how. Okay, so skipping guards is turned on, so it's automatically gonna take us to Hyrule Field once we enter here. It's all this letter. It didn't take us automatically to the field, I guess. But now it will. <laughs> Another skull to the token. We have currently done like 0.1% progress into this randomizer. <laughs> Killing it. Uh, let's go to Malin first, honestly. We can go get Epona Song. We can go do the chicken mini game. We can get the heart piece in the silo. Hopefully we find the boomerang quick. So I can get these skull to the tokens. Otherwise, we're gonna have to backtrack for the scratchy boys. Later. Entrance randomizer isn't on. I might here let me let me look at my settings real fast. I'm pretty sure if I go to the Zooter website, I think it like saves whatever settings you had on last, so I can like double check a few things. Okay, yeah, there's no entrance randomizer on whatsoever. Oh, apparently I didn't shuffle Weird Egg. I don't know why I didn't. Um, all six of Ganon's trials are required, but the Rainbow Bridge is open, so we can go into Ganon's castle as an adult. Hint distribution is on very strong, hints need nothing. But yeah, that's where we are with that. No cap, you only partially pay attention when making seeds. No, I usually pay full attention. There's just a lot of options. And they keep on changing the name of options and adding more options. Like the past like few mistakes I've made is because they keep on changing the way it's all laid out. And it keeps on screwing with me. Oh wait, is this the bomb bag? Well, we were just worried about this for no reason. There it is. That was easy. We did not need to get the spiritual stones. That gossip stone had me freaking out for no reason. My girl Madeline drink milk by the gallon. I'm, I bet we can expect a lot of Scratchy Boy tokens. I'm so happy that we figured out why that control stick issue was happening. I didn't realize that if you had it binded to the analog thing and on the controls that it got double binded. That makes so much more sense. Hopefully these Deku scrubs aren't being rip-offs. At 50 rupees. Come on, cheap prices. Hopefully this is the Walmart Deku scrub. <laughs> oh. 27 rupees. Can do, can do. I'm sick of it! I'm sick of it! <laughs> I really am! I gotta remember to come back to these scrubs. There's one scrub in Lon Lon Ranch and one scrub in the Lost Woods. Ah. 
bloopies, bloopies everywhere. Get not a drop to drink. Oh yeah. Forgot I can also mark Zelda's letter. Move back to you. Oh, we should also play a Mario Kart at some point during the subathon. I still haven't got a chance to race you guys in the new DLC tracks yet. Yeah! It's exactly what I was looking for. Nice. Spirit Temple Compass. Okay, good old safe. Have I played the DLC tracks at all? Yeah, I have. They're really fun. I like the Paris one a lot. I think that one has a really nice environment to it. And I also like the, the Ninja Hideaway level. That one's like freaking chaos. It's exactly what I like from a good Mario Kart level. Saru, you are good. <laughs> You've already donated the most subs. Don't put yourself in an uncomfortable financial situation for this subathon, please, please. The Biddy Bug? Is it called the Beetle or is it called the Biddy Bug? The Biddy Bug Mobile. Once we get Epona song, this place will be great. I don't have enough rupees to play Talon's chicken game right now. Not having enough rupees might be the the theme of this rando. But it's kind of fun too. It's kind of annoying always having like too many rupees. It feels like that's always the case in randos. So random scrubs and random scrub prices seems like it's actually gonna bring some, some good fun. Oh, there's both? Damn. I like the bitty bug mobile. And J-Man got that hook up from KZ Bear. You'd like to see it. I mean, I just need to get a wallet upgrade. That's like my number one. My number one goal so I can hold the rupees that I find. Because finding rupees in Zooter isn't the problem. It's usually holding the rupees. So fingers crossed that we get the wallet ASAP. Very good. Am I going to do Dodongos as an adult or a kid? Probably. What do you guys think I should do? Do you guys want to see adult Dodongo or Kid Dodongo? Requiem of Spirit, baby! That's a good teleport song. And Sandy. We got... We got the desert song. How you doing, Anju? Don't tease my cuckoos. And don't tease the two clan, okay? We'll make an agreement, Anju. I won't tease your cuckoos if you don't tease my two cans. Sounds like a deal. Only I can tease my jukans. I'm surprised by like how little I can do in Kakariko during the daytime. I can do like nothing. My little tech tight puppies. We love them. My little bouncers. If I was to ever open a club, I would definitely hire tech tights to be my bouncers because they just have so much experience. Look at how good they are at bouncing. Nobody would get into your club that's not supposed to be. Let's open. Let's... Okay. Am I attacking the two cans or are the two cans attacking me? 
We still don't know, and we probably never will. The eternal question. I wish we knew the answer. There's just not enough answers out there, you know? When it comes to spirituality, it's just hard to know what's truth and what's speculation. Prescription. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get that big gore on his eye drops. Let's go. What just happened? Oh, I just, I think it like clipped into the wall. All right, where's the pharmacy at? We do gotta get some, some of them drugs. I wanna flip back here. I don't really need the key, I'm guessing, but might as well get it. Gerudo training grounds key. Very nice. The take tight down here? No take tight. Don't leave me alone. I don't want to die. The low heart sound effect is the bush shake. Did you guys hear it? I could go to the. No, going to the top would kind of be a waste right now. I'd probably die if I tried. Yeah, the little heart sound effect kind of reminds me of that Rick and Morty episode where they have the snake jazz. I'd die for snake jazz. Who doesn't love snake jazz? So good. Always get your head bobbing. You gotta shake a little bit to it. The sound effect is foreshadowing Link turning into a Deku scrub in Majora's Mask. That's entirely possible. I love when my games have foreshadowing. Ocarina of Time literally starts with foreshadowing. It starts off with a nightmare of Link confronting Ganondorf. And then it actually happens later! Bum bum bum! I can clear Child Deku Tree? Wait, Child the Dongo's Cavern? I guess I could, couldn't I? I'm gonna keep that on the back burner though, because I'm not a fan of doing a Dongo as a kid. Boss key for Fire Temple. I'm coming, Vivagia. I'm coming for you! Big Goron Sword! <laughs> Very nice first sword. Too bad Link can't use it as a kid. That'd be great though. They say that Goron City is on the way of the hero. Sounds like we're in the right place. Ow! That almost killed me. I do have, I have double damage turned on, which is why I'm losing so much. Oh, that's why! See, foreshadowing! Did you, did you not? What was I talking about? Ocarina of Time loves its foreshadowing. And now we're back to some bush jazz. That's what we're gonna call this. It's a cousin of snake jazz, but it's a bit more natural and less dangerous. I'm not really sure how to dance the bush jazz, but I'll figure it out. I, th I think it just takes a little bit of a customization, a little bit of acclimation, if you will. We can kill Volvagia now. Probably gonna be a requirement. Let's we'll stop the Begoron. There should be a mod that allows you to use the adult Link weapons as a kid. I mean, that probably is a mod, but... Come on, Begoron. The way he rolls is like so slow, it's almost like he's moonwalking forward. Or moon rolling. That's what he's doing. You're supposed to twerk the bush jazz. Okay, that's what's up. I'm gonna have to show Amaya the bush jazz later and see if she wants to shake her ass to it. Or maybe the big Goron wants to? Water temple key. Fun. 
Now we're gonna head up to... Uh, now we can go see Saria. Thank you, thank you, Stevo. Are you trying to come on and rebeat Saru? Get the number one sub slot again? Woo! That was a lot. Oh, yeah, the shop. Oh, we only have four rupees. I guess we can check it, can't we? We'll look at it just to see if we need to come back to it. Maybe we'll find a heart. <laughs> Apology sub. Aw. <laughs> Pure. Oh, I can save the carpenters with the key here. Apart from that, nothing really of use. That is a very blue shop. We had a blue bee, we had a blue heart, we had a blue heart piece. I liked the consistency. It was very aesthetic. How close till we run out of time? Each little bush bush would be an ass shook. Everyone like shaking their ass at the bushes. Yo, we got a tier two sub. Nice. That adds on 10 minutes to the stream. Brus Juin. Guin? Juin? Brus, thank you so much for the tier two sub. Much love out here, brother. Or sister. Or other. I don't have money to do this. What? Damn it! Why did I come down here? Oh, I have a fairy. Great. The body shop. The body shop? Go into the body shop. Get Link a new exterior. Oh, how much time till we have to spin again? We're gonna have to spin again at 12.15, so in 10 minutes. So hopefully I can make some progress. With my current progress, I would say I'm like 5% into the random. Damn it! It's hard to not die when I don't have a shield. I take double damage. I'm trying not to waste my nuts, but it might force me to. Oh. They're just relentless. What can I say? I don't hold back. But that's how it's done. We'll get another fairy on our way out, hopefully. Yeah, if I can find a heart piece, that would be great. Navi, what do you want? Go to the Deku Tree. I can't. Unless you want to give me a sword and shield. Or unless you want to fly up Mido's urethra and expand with inside his own cock and make it blow up. That's That was too far. Light arrows? What? <laughs> That's literally the most in-game item we could have found. <laughs> I finally see the light. They can't find their home. They're stupid. Yeah, that puts us up to 75% for sure. You nailed it. Well, we'll be able to use the light arrows once we find the magic meter. And the bow. <laughs> I'm really happy we figured out that controller issue because of that one message from... He had a dark green name. I would recognize it if I saw it in chat. But now I don't have to worry about all those issues. Like half of my controller issues are now solved. Thank God for chat. Get some more hints. 
They say the final prize of the thieves' training is balls. Okay, so I don't need to finish that. They say that the big Goron crafts a heart container. So that's what I get if I finish the big Goron trading side quests. I wish I could slap Mido. That would be so satisfying. Get back to Dodongo's cavern, I guess? Or I guess... I don't have much time left, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to... Back to Castle Market? And turn into Adult Link. So when I start the randomizer up next time, we'll start in the Temple of Time and we'll be an adult. We'll be able to just continue moving. Yes, yeah, Mido, what happens when a mod becomes power hungry? It's in logic to go to Zora River. I guess it would be a good time to go to Zora River right now. There's a couple things. What, there's like, with the chicken, there's like two or three checks. I'll go ahead and go right now. I'm right here. Farm rupees on the bridge and do bomb chew bowling. I guess I can now that I have a bomb bag. Bomb chew bowling's open. There's a lot of options of things to do right now. We're just kind of trying to knock stuff out little by little. Thank God the owl was cut out. No bullshit. Yo, thank you for five more gifty stubby sub subs, Mr. Pop Pop. I might like, I, I straight up might order a Pop Pie. At some point during the randomizer. Actually kind of sounds good. There's a restaurant that I love nearby called Lazy Dog, and they have really good Pop Pie, honestly. They also have like the best Brussels sprouts. I know it sounds like kind of weird, but hear me out. These Brussels sprouts have like the best like tasting sauce and they squeeze some like lemon on it and they have, I think they're called legumes? Some like weird like nut that just goes with the Brussels sprout perfectly. I'm all about it. It's Otaku Rin. The gift sub. Congratulations bro. Or sister. To me, everyone's. Both. What's the ginger neutral? I guess it would be sibling. That's not, doesn't sound as good as brother though. But I also like can't assume the gender of just people in my chat when I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell just by a username. Yo, what up, Sib? Yo. I guess cuz. That's kind of the more ginger neutral one, isn't it? Yo, thank you, cuz. <laughs> Yo, appreciate the sub, cuz. This is Ho. Yo, thanks, Ho. Appreciate that sub. <sighs> How my hoes doing? Finding all the tokens. They say the final reward from the frogs of Zora River is bombs. Definitely not doing that, then. I hate that check. The frog mini game, oh, the worst. You assumed I was a guy and I'm not. <laughs> My bad, see? Your name's probably Rachel, isn't it, Ray Ray? The big one. Wait, we already, we already saw that hint. That was a hint repeat. Oh, we have another vote on what the next rando is going to be. You often use hun for gender neutral. I'm not... I don't think I can say the word hun. It doesn't... It just makes me feel like I'm supporting the bad guys in the, the movie Mulan. 
and I was told to defeat the Huns. So if I called people Hun, that I would have to defeat them. And I just don't want to do that. Hunty, I can do that. Yo, thanks, Hunty. <laughs> thanks, Hun. Here's your sweet tea, Hun. Take the most southern option. Babe works. That's what the Mario 64 speedrunner Cheese calls all of his viewers. He calls everyone Babe. If you hang out with him for just a couple days, you'll be calling people Babe yourself. Hover boots? They were just hiding the hover boots out here, like just like that? On the for real though? The Huns were really terrifying IRL, even more than in Mulan. Yes. I would agree that Disney's depiction of war is not as brutal as what actual war is. I think the Disney movie left out like all of the actual like murder and raping that the Huns did, probably for a very good reason. <laughs> Zelda's lullaby. Okay. I'm sleeping good tonight. What false advertising? You aren't a toucan nor attacking. Um. Could th this guy just say I'm not a toucan? That was like the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen in my Twitch chat to date. What did I do to deserve this? That is a Zelda's lullaby, though. Yeah, I'm in a human costume. Exactly. I'm trying to fit in. I tried just being a toucan at first, but people didn't vibe with it. They felt like, like apparently birds aren't relatable enough. So yeah, I had to disguise myself as a human so I could be more relatable and grow my audience size. All right, we got another heart container. Let's go save in the Temple of Time, and then we're gonna be resetting the wheel again. People are all guessing Wind Waker. That is the one people want the most. I also want Wind Waker quite a bit. Oh, we got some hydrations, okay, okay. Hi, England, nice to see you. Oh yeah, we can reach Volvagia and kill him now. I wonder if that's like what the rando wants us to do. There's a Twitch channel for me called California Burbs. What is that channel? Which, what's that? I am amazed enough, we actually get to see Ocarina of Time. I honestly didn't think it would happen. I kind of lost all hope. So the fact that I'm playing it right now is pretty miraculous. Okay, for the tracker flake, I think it's safe to say that we have 5% completion in Ocarina of Time. A start, if you will. Yeah, I'm not playing with Mod Loader right now. We can read the hints as an adult. And there he is. Big man. Big man Linkus, let's go.